the silent vast constant domain of love. Heaven Letter Number 4858 March 14, 2014 How to let go of your attachment to the ups and downs of the physical world is by not holding on so tight. You do not give up the relative world. So long as you have a body, here you are. At the same time, you can see further than your nose. The relative world is important, yet it is not all important. Your life in the relative world does not have to take up 100% of your awareness. Beloveds, the relative world is growing right alongside you. The relative world is gaining in peace and love, and so are you. The relative world, which is always changing, isn't a stable foundation. It is not a foundation at all. By its very nature, it is not. It cannot be. Better to put your money in the bank. I speak of the unseen world of heaven which yet is capable of being experienced. Of course it is, for where you are, or think you are, you are. Actually, you don't have to put so much attention on your life, your world, the world that preoccupies you. The world of spirit that does not preoccupy you is where the truth of you lies. There is truth, and there is fiction. Truth is truth, and fiction is fiction. Life on earth is dramatic. There is everything possible on earth, every contradiction possible, every joy and every pain, and all of it is modern theater. How to say this? In the world of truth, there is silence, and yet the silence is filled with a richness. Here, within the silence lies the real story and the only place from which the fiction can arise. There is a source. This is where the whole overt play comes from. The whole stage comes from the infinite and eternal, yet the infinite and eternal do not tell stories. Consider the earthly plane like smoke from a fire. Without the fire, you would not see the smoke. Without the fire, there would not be the smoke. Smoke wafts from the fire. Life on earth has its origin and its history and all its romance from the silence within, from the vastness, from the hand of God wherein lies the solid basis of life on earth. Even though the basis cannot be touched by the physical world, it can be realized. The existence of this powerful silent vast constant domain of love is where you come from. It is also the permanent domain where you do also live. It is as if you have dual citizenship. Your original country is heaven. You are entitled to your second passport to earth, yet your passport to earth is temporary and doesn't really hold up. Yes, it's a temporary visa. You don't know how long it's good for. Heaven you can know is forever. You are never deported from it. Your life on earth is a temporary stay. It is only a minute, I tell you. In heaven time, it is no time at all, for there is no time here. Heaven is timeless, and I tell you that you are timeless too, and spaceless too. There are no bodies in heaven. There is soul essence. In heaven. You read souls, as it were. You recognize souls. You know oneness which is another word for love. Love isn't exactly noted because what else is there to demark from love? Peace and love and light, the source of all, are here. I did not send you off to earth without all of heaven. You are on earth even as you have never left heaven. Heaven is the core of you. It is the immutable core of you. I have a conversation with myself in the form of you. Where is heaven? I ask. It is within you, I answer. Can a human being really know heaven while still on earth? Yes, yes, for I, God, am everywhere, and I am knowable, and so are you knowable. I pinch your cheek right now. Look up. Here I am smiling at you. My will be done. What is my will? My will is love. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org